Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home, Sony's plan to connect the SPUMC to the MCU, and two movies getting delayed. Now let's get started. It's rumored, let me say that again, rumored. So take this with as much salt as you possibly can, especially since it has to do with Spider-Man No Way Home. But it's rumored that the trailer will come out this week. Over the past couple days, more and more international Sony YouTube channels, including those of Austria, Cambodia, and Vietnam, have changed their banners to say Spider-Man No Way Home. And this is what Sony usually does before releasing a trailer, having done it most recently before releasing the trailer for Venom Let There Be Carnage. However, there are two things that could happen if the trailer does release. Since it's also a Sony property, we could get a full trailer. Although unlikely, we could see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, or maybe the Sinister Six. But what's in my opinion more likely, is that since Disney still has to market Black Widow, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and now The Eternals, plus four Disney Plus shows that are releasing this year, we'll only get a teaser trailer similar to The Eternals. But either way, there's a chance that we could get our first trailer for Spider-Man 3 this week. Next, in an interview with Variety, Sony Pictures president Sanford Panich revealed that there is a plan to connect the MCU and the SPMC, saying we don't really think of our 900 characters as the Spideyverse. We have a Marvel Universe. The volume of characters we have, you know, wait until you see this next Venom. You won't miss Spider-Man but it'll be exciting if they do meet, right? He then goes on to talk about how if Spider-Man were to appear in a Venomverse movie, it would be confusing to some fans, because if they're connected, then why didn't Spider-Man appear in Venom, or vice versa? But it already is confusing, because Michael Keaton's Vulture appeared in the trailer for Morbius. He explains that tension will soon be resolved, somehow, and that greenlighting Kraven, a character who's also a tussle with Venom in the comics, fills in another piece of that puzzle. There actually is a plan, he says. I think now it's getting a little more clear for people where we're headed, and I think when No Way Home comes out, even more will be revealed. In the article, they also wrote one of the worst kept secrets in Hollywood is that No Way Home will be diving headfirst into the multiverse and incorporating Sony's other iterations of Spider-Man starring Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Alfred Molina, for example, told Variety in April he'll be digitally de-aged in No Way Home to look like he did as the villain Doc Ock at the end of 2004 Spider-Man 2. So there you have it. If you still don't believe, then I don't know what to tell you. Wait for the trailer, I guess. But in an article written by Variety where they interviewed Sony's president, they wrote that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will appear in Spider-Man No Way Home and so will the Sinister Six. And speaking of the Sinister Six, on the latest episode of Collider's Snyder Cut podcast, Jeff Snyder stated that he's heard the Sinister Six will consist of Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, Jamie Foxx's Electro, Thomas Hayden Church's Sandman, Paul Giamatti's Rhino, and Reza Fon's Lizard. Then viewer Aiden tweeted, the Sinister Six are all from other universes, and remember, they died, specifically died at the hands of Spider-Man. This causes great guilt in Holland's Peter, and he ends up doing something stupid against Doctor Strange's orders and this could have something to do with the character that's rumored to die in the movie. Nick Santos from that hashtag show also talked about the Sinister Six, saying I'm gonna say this on the Sinister Six stuff floating around. There are villains, but it's not truly comic accurate Sinister Six. Like I don't consider a group of villains a Sinister Six if that makes sense. And he later goes on to clarify what he means, by saying that yes, there are six villains trying to defeat Spider-Man, but they don't work together like a team, let alone the real Sinister Six would, and they're not called the Sinister Six in the movie. And finally, Charles Murphy backs all of this up and corrects a mistake he made previously, he said a while back I shared a rumor that I heard that led me to believe that Spencer Smythe and the Spider Slayers would be in Spider-Man 3. He says that at the time, he didn't believe the movie would have anything to do with the multiverse, so the Sinister Six appearing didn't make sense, but now he too is saying that the Sinister Six will appear in the movie. And lastly, Marvel Studios has delayed two movies for unknown reasons. The first movie was delayed from October 7, 2022 to October 6, 2023, which is an entire year delay, and I think that this movie was Blade. Production on Blade was recently delayed to the end of this year, and so a delay gives them more time to work on everything without having to rush. The second movie was only delayed a week, from November 3rd, 2023 to November 10th, 2023. And this could really be any movie, Deadpool 3, The Mutants, or even Captain America 4. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Do you think the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home will release this week? How do you think the MCU and SPUMC will be connected? And why do you think these movies were delayed? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.